How's it going everyone? Skipper VR here. I hope you're having an amazing day and today I wanted to make a video on every new VR headset hitting the market this year or in the coming years. Now VR's popularity has been skyrocketing in the last few months. This is mainly because of the mainstream success the Oculus Quest 2 has achieved. It has recently outsold every headset that Oculus has produced in its lifetime in only six months. And oh yeah, did I mention that it was every headset that Oculus has made combined? It's just absolutely crazy to see. But it also kind of isn't a good thing because every headset that is being purchased right now is pretty much just an Oculus Quest 2 and there isn't any room for competition. But all of this is about to change. Other competitors have seen the success and are adapting to the standalone VR world. So let's go over all the new VR headsets coming to the market in the coming years. But before we get into it, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button for more awesome VR content coming your way in the near future. Alright, let's get right into it. Okay, so for the past few years, the most purchased VR headset has been the PlayStation VR, which has sold it at around 5 million units, and we are unsure if the Oculus Quest 2 has surpassed this yet, but nonetheless, it is still incredible how many people got into VR with the PlayStation VR. But this headset has kind of aged over time, and it really isn't keeping up with the other competitors in the market right now. But Sony has recently just announced the PlayStation VR 2. This is what they had to say on the PlayStation blog. Today, I'm pleased to share that our next generation VR system will be coming to the PlayStation 5, enabling the ultimate entertainment experience with dramatic leaps in performance and interactivity. Players will feel an even greater sense of presence and become more immersed in the game worlds once they have put on the new headset. Now, we don't know much about this new headset, but we do know it'll be single cord and all around just an improvement on the original PSVR. One thing that I really think will be present in this headset is finger and hand tracking. If you look at the controllers, they're kind of a mix of the Valve Knuckles and the Oculus Touch controllers, but we'll have to wait and see. I honestly can't wait for this headset, but we don't really know when this headset's going to drop. Now, for price range, I'm probably going to say it's going to be around $400. Now next up on our list we have the HTC standalone VR project and we have very little to go off on this headset. We don't know what it's going to look like or what the specs are going to be but what we do know is that it's currently in the works as of right now. Now when the president of Vive in China was asked about the Oculus Quest competitor back in March he said this. I think we've said in the past that we will release a new all-in-one headset this year. I don't think I would position it as an Oculus Quest competitor. I think it's our next generation standalone. We will have one this year. It's going to be a great product. Now this is pretty much all we know as of now, but Vive is having a great year so far with the lip tracker and now a standalone headset. But one thing concerning is this headset is that it's not going to be an Oculus Quest competitor. So this means it might just be another enterprise headset. I'm really hoping HTC will make a comeback this year. When I asked Thrill Seeker about it, he said this. But now it's time for question of the week from Oculus VR. Do you think that HTC will ever make a comeback? And yeah. I just wanted to throw in that one time when Thrill Seeker answered my question on one of his videos. But Vive does have a conference or a keynote coming up very soon, so I think it'll be announced sometime then. And now for the headset that some people are excited about but are also pretty upset about because we just spent $300 on their past headset. We have the Oculus Quest 3 or Quest 2 Pro or whatever you want to call it. Now we know for sure that this headset is happening at some point next year because the Zuck said it himself. Now I would not expect this headset to come out this year. I think the Quest 2 will have a similar lifespan to the Oculus Quest 1 which is about a year and a half. But they'll probably announce what it's going to look like and what kind of specs it's going to have uh, during Facebook Connect 2. Now I think this headset will definitely have finger tracking. I mean there really isn't a reason not to at this point. I also think this headset might have better processing power, but it might still have the Snapdragon XR2 because they have said before that the XR2 is heavily underutilized in the Oculus Quest 2 due to bad cooling problems. So they'll probably fix it with the Oculus Quest 3. I also think this headset might come in different colors just like the old iPhones. I think this is a great idea and it hasn't been done with any other headset before, so that's just one of my wishes. I also think this headset might have an IPD slider since the last one didn't have one. But those are just some things that I think this headset will have. Now this headset will probably have a price range of around 300 to 350 Now for our next headset we have the Apple VR project. They've already announced this headset and I have an in-depth video on it if you want to go watch that I'll link it in the description. But this headset is Apple's first VR headset and it'll be very expensive and hard to get. They're not planning on making this a mainstream headset and only plan to sell around 500 today so that's pretty much one per store. I'm excited to see where this one goes. And now for my last headset, and probably my most anticipated on this list, we have the Deca Gear VR. Now this company has been doing amazing things for VR in the past year with the Deca Move Hip Tracker, but that isn't their only plan. They actually plan on making their own VR headset that promises eye tracking, tr hip tracking, finger tracking, and so much more. It's just awesome to see. So far, I love this company. They really seem pretty humble, and just like they want to improve VR for the people who love it. 
Oh yeah, and did I mention that this headset is only going to cost $450? It's just mind blowing. I don't really have my hopes up for this headset though because they are a small and new company so their promises might not be kept. Also this headset will sport a 4K display and wireless play with up to 6 hours of battery life. I've already signed up for the waitlist on this headset, I can't wait. Many videos on this headset will be made when I get my hands on one. But that's going to be it for today's video. There's so much to look forward to in the coming years. It's going to be great. If you like this video, be sure to give it that thumbs up. And of course, if you didn't, it wouldn't hurt to let me know why. What headset do you plan on buying? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I would love to have a conversation with you. This is Skipper VR signing off. Have an absolutely amazing day. Have fun exploring that virtual world. And of course, take care.